Hey, what's up guys? Pretty here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale. We're going to be taking a look at this deck right here. It is a typical Expo deck with the Evo Knight as well as the Evo Archers. So we'll jump into some games, see if I can win, and let's see what happens. Here we go, game number one. We are against Empire Pro. Let's see if he lives up to his name and whether he is a pro or not. <laughs> All right, so we'll go with the Tesla in the middle just to tank for the mortar and to, of course, take it out. The bats aren't really too big of a concern for me. We'll just get the knight down in case the mortar decided to try and get a fadeaway shot. And luckily, in this case, it didn't. So that's good. We can cycle an ice spirit. I fully expect a log spell or something like that. We do see the guards. Not really a big concern. They shouldn't do too much, if anything. We'll cycle archers at the back, and now we are back to square one again. So what we can do is, I'm actually going to go Expo. I think he doesn't really have a lot. And now that's good. So we see the rascals. We can go ahead and log them. Then we'll Ice Spirit the bats right here. Whenever the Ice Spirit does decide to spawn in. And there we go. So the Expo is now on the tower. Really, really good stuff. Very straightforward play with that one because the rascal girls can die to the log. It's knowing what your spells can do, to be honest. It really does make a big difference. And now what I'll do is, again, just cycle archers at the back. Seems to be a bit of deployment lag, potentially. I'm not really too sure, but time will tell. So we'll cycle skellies. We'll just keep cycling everything. I'm going to go with the expo once again. And now I do have knight ready if needed. And I do also have the tester. So we do see the... Okay, interesting. So we'll go with the log. Just to take the shields off. Oh, we spawn killed the... <laughs> That's good. So we'll predict the bats any second now. There we go. So predict the bats. Well, the majority of them. And there we go. So good stuff. There's no point of overcommitting and spending any of the relics. So he's going to put oops. He knew that he couldn't really do anything else. And that tower is pretty much gone, to be honest. So what we can do is we can start pressuring the other one. Because it's a lot easier just to keep that one up, I guess. We'll cycle skellies at the back. The mine is not really a big concern to me. We'll go Expo. We'll go Tesla as well. We do have Super Archers ready if needed. I will go ahead and Log Spell. Did actually get a quite a good Fireball value right there. Which isn't necessarily great for me. But again, it shouldn't really change the outcome of the game to be honest. Because the Expo is now on this Arena Tower. I'm going to go with another one. We do have the Super Archers as well. The Evo Archers. We'll get these down. Okay, Evo Mortar. We'll try and tank these. Oh, the Skellies didn't go for the Evo Mortar. Sorry, the Evo Mortar didn't go for the Skellies. That's fine, though. We'll go Tesla over on this side. I do expect the Fireball, but the Tesla will now block the Fireball altogether. Well, I don't even know if that made sense, but it made sense to me. We'll log. We'll take everything out. He's going to give up. We'll just hit with... Good game, basically. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, both towers had one health. That's quite interesting. But I don't know. It's already a good one. I can barely talk in the first episode. In the first... <laughs> Here we go, game number two. Hopefully I can talk, at least the gameplay was decent. I mean, I'm happy to still upload it, but it's not really the best of looks for me. But regardless, it's fine. It's part of life. Things happen. So we've got the Expo ready. He does actually have Dagger Duchess at level 10, which is quite low. But again, it doesn't necessarily matter because we are using the Expo regardless. And of course... It doesn't even really matter too much. <laughs> so we see the archers. Uh, sorry, we see the Mega Knight. We'll go with the Knight. The archers from the opponent at the bridge is very, very aggressive. Unfortunately, in, on this occasion, I can't really punish the opponent for it, which is rather annoying because a player like that should result in at least being somewhat punished tower-wise. But again, unfortunately, with this deck, it's not something that I could really do in this case. So... Okay, so we'll go Skellies, we'll go Ice Spirit. We'll try and block some of the Goblin Barrel. Well, we can, of course. And now what we can do is get another Expo down. You'll probably go with the Wall Breakers, so we'll predict them right here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we got half a Skarmy at least, so that's something. We'll go High Tesla for the Wall Breakers, and it somewhat worked. I mean, it didn't really... It was okay. He had to use the Log as well. So we're now winning at least. It's something, I guess. It's not... Really, the damage I was looking for, I was hoping for at least another thousand. But I think one of the wall breakers did blow up the expo slightly and take a lot of the health off. So, rather unfortunate if you ask me. It should be okay, though. 
as he will now be back to Mega Knight. So what we need to do here is try to bait out the Mega Knight if possible. Although in this case, I don't think we'll see him do it. So what we can do is we'll go, egg, sorry, Knight on defense. We'll go Musketeer. What in the world? Okay. So Musketeer, we do see the Witch is a very strange deck from the opponent, if I'm honest. And no, it's just the Mega Knight. It's purely the Mega Knight. That's the only concern. If we can address the Mega Knight relatively quickly, this one is pretty much all over. We'll go High Evo Knight. Sadly, the Archers will get taken out. And now the Evo Knight does need to do something quite a lot here. Well, some really good damage. And okay. Hmm. Again, same as before, really. Nothing really spectacular damage-wise. At least the Expo is now on the tower. So that's something. It's better than nothing at all. So look for the positives in life where possible. And now we'll just go Archers at the bottom. I'm not going to log because the Archers should survive. No problem whatsoever. I know he'll go Mega Knight. But we'll just go for the Expo anyway. And then there it is. So the Expo is down. We'll go Tesla as well. And then we can try and log. And get the value of the log spell. Which we do. But again we don't pick up any damage on this one. So we're back to Expo already. I'm going to go with another one. He did use the Wall Breakers. He did use everything. So we'll go with this. He may go Skarmy which is not really too big of an issue. We'll go Archers, we'll go Skellies for the Goblin Barrel, and there we go. So we'll log, Prediction log, hopefully we hit the Wall Breakers, on this occasion we don't. And now the Expo is going to go down. The Wall Breakers will actually bypass everything, which is perfect. So he wasted the Wall Breakers, because that's where he's, he's not even getting damage on that side. We'll try and cycle back to Log Spell as soon as possible. We'll Prediction log the Skeleton Army, which we managed to do right there. And Evo Knight's on the tower. Super Archers, the Evo Archers are on the tower. And we pick up the win. So good stuff. Pretty textbook game, really. It's just identifying what your opponent has and knowing what they're going to do. And then just working around what they're going to do, if that makes sense. So we'll jump into the next one and see what happens. Here we go. Game number three. This guy might have the brand new evolved battle ram. If he does have the battle ram, then of course we need to, to be cautious. So we'll fireball the barbarians. We might as well do so if we can. Why not? It's free to do so. We hit the tower. We take the barbs out. Plus one elixir. Very, very strange deployments from this guy. I'm just going to mirror them. I'm very... I guess bot-like behavior at least i would say so so we'll go over here with the knight we've got the archers down we've got the knight down that's fine the archers will actually take the mini pecker out i fully expect this guy to be using the balloon i just expect it oh my word okay really really strange deck barbarians evo but uh, sorry evolved barbs not evo barbs <laughs> well technically there probably are i'm sure they're evo barbs but you know what i meant e barbs on this one not necessarily the very very strange deck i've what in the world is he using okay <laughs> i have no idea absolutely no idea so we see the the battle ram we see the hog rider barbarians evo barbs mini packer valkyrie must be the old ground challenge only or something i'm not really too sure i'm not really too sure but we'll see what he's got We'll try and get an expo down momentarily. He does have the lumberjack in hand. He does have the mini packer. I'm not sure what spells he has. And that's really the biggest issue at the moment. Because we'll split archers over here actually. We'll bait with the ice spirit. That's good. And now what we can do is we'll go expo. We'll try and save up for the fireball. Because I fully expect evo barbs. There they are. We'll fireball on zero. And that should be the game. So hopefully you enjoyed this one guys. Thanks for watching. And... Hopefully that doesn't backfire too, too soon. So, <laughs> so we're split archers in the middle. Expo will pretty much take the tower out on the left. It looks like he's not even bothered to defend it. He went in with the hog rider. We do see the barbs, the Evo barbs. Why do I keep calling these the Evo barbs? These are not the Evo barbs. These are the elite barbs. So the Tesla will do some really good work right there. Not really a concern to me. We'll go high Evo Knight. We'll go Skellies and then that should take care of the battle ram. Perfect, the battle ram has been eliminated. And now the Evo Knight is doing some really good work as well. I'll go over here. We'll go with the Tesla as well. Very, very poor Tesla, actually. Oh, the wizard. The wizard, guys. The wizard. So, I don't even know. Very, very strange one this game. 
So we'll just go either Super Archers. Why do I keep calling them that? I'm not, I keep playing Clash of Clans a lot. And that's where I get the name from, if you wonder. And so both towers are pretty much game over. I'm just going to expo on this side. I'm sure he won't defend. And in fact, he actually goes with the E-Bob. So good stuff. We pick up the win. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Some very, very straightforward games with Expo. Hopefully you did like it, like I mentioned a second ago. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you want to see specifically, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. So other than that, that's all for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.